ticket for the long way round Two pot of whiskey for the way And I sure would like some sweet company And I'm leaving tomorrow, what do you say? When I'm gone So that was When I'm Gone by Anna Kendrick. It's from the movie Pitch Perfect, if you haven't heard it. Um, it's a really good song. It's probably one of my favorites. Um, I did a cover of it a while ago where I actually did the cup part to it, and it was with this like really thin plastic cup that had broken so many times, and yes, I know my shirt's falling off. It's because for some reason it's bigger at the shoulders, and it's just falling off of me. So, yeah. But, um... We actually used the cup, and you could see, like, tape where I taped it back from all the times that I'd accidentally broken it. But, um, oh, it was so much fun. And I kept forgetting to smile in the video. Like, I would, like, smile at the camera, and then I'd go back to what I was doing, and I'd just have the most serious face ever. And, yeah. <laughs> but I wanted to do this, and then I tried to do something special with it, but it just didn't work out. Um, I was trying at that for, like, an hour or so, um, where I would actually kind of have a bit of a canon at the chorus and have a bit of harmony but it, it's really hard to get it and it's really hard to get the sound right um, it just it wasn't working out so I had to quit out on that um, but I was in a pretty bad mood today I'm a I'm a lot better now than I was just cuz I just I saw some stuff online and you know people online sometimes can be a little mean and it wasn't towards me it was towards someone else um, someone had just got over you know, overcome their anorexia. You know, they just overcome it. Uh, they were finally reaching a good weight. Um, and someone, and you know, so they posted it up on the app called Whisper. And someone commented on there and called them fat. And said, now you're fat and unattractive. And so I responded, because that pissed me off, honestly. Um, you like, anorexia is a mental and physical illness, and you don't, you don't push someone back into it. That's just wrong. You know? And so I commented, and I was just like, is that supposed to be funny or something? It's not. Grow up. And so they commented back with a very sarcastic answer. Uh... It's like, it's a whole thing. I'm actually pretty proud of how I responded to them after their sarcastic answer. So they were like, OMG, I'm totally sorry I offended somebody. Please forgive me. Now here's the thing. I get the whole thing where people are offended by everything these days, and that's fine to complain about that. But, you know, this whole shit with words do hurt and making fun of people who are hurt by some of the words or names they're called is bullshit to me. Yes, you can hurt someone by using words. Shut the fuck up! Because you know what? If it was someone you cared about, 
it would be complete. It would be completely different. You wouldn't be sitting there complaining about them be feeling down because of words. You would be helping them and you'd want to beat the shit out of the person who hurt them. So don't give me this crap about, Oh, I'm so sorry I offended you because words hurt. Shut up. Anyways, so they said all that and then I said, Well, they do say ignorance is bliss. May you live your... Okay, wait. Well, they do say ignorance is bliss. May you live your life in blissful peace. If I were offended by your idiocy, I would be ashamed of myself. But I guess I can forgive you. You must not know love. And then I decided to continue because I was extremely pissed off and I wanted them to understand my point. And I said, if this were someone you really cared about, fighting a disease like anorexia, I wonder, would you still react the same way? If so, well, congrats on being heartless. Perhaps I should have said, grow a heart. And I said that like over two, uh, I think about two hours ago. Uh, within 45 minutes they still haven't, hadn't said anything, so I'll go and check that in a bit. But it's just like, you don't talk to someone like that. I don't care if you think words don't hurt. I don't care if you think it's okay to say something like that. It's not. It will never be okay to say something like that. Especially with someone who is dealing with a disease that they finally got over and you're trying to push them back into it. That's sickening. Whew. I needed to rant. I needed it. Alright, so that was it. Um, if you guys are going through your own problems, make sure that you talk to someone and know that you are never, never alone in that, okay? And that no matter what, there's always going to be someone who cares about you and someone who will stick up for you, even if you haven't found them yet, okay? I mean, I'm right here. I'll stick up for you. I promise. Well, I, I don't make promises. I don't like making promises because there's always that risk that, you know, someone's going to use that promise against you or something. And unless it's something that I know that I'm absolutely not going to do, I will not, or will do, I'm not, I don't make promises on it. So. I know that I'll stick up for people as best as I possibly can. Anyways, that's pretty much it. Um, the rights to this song go to Anna Kendrick and the producers of Pitch Perfect. And uh, if you liked it, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. If you haven't heard the original, make sure to go listen to it. It's pretty awesome. Uh, there are also a bunch of awesome covers. Um, one of them I heard was the Cup Song Extreme Edition by John Cozart, but that one wasn't my favorite. I can't remember the name of my favorite one, but it was really awesome. Anyways, it was really good. But, um, once again, I hope you guys liked it. And if you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And if you didn't, please make sure to comment and tell me why. And I think that's pretty much it. So, I love you guys so much. Stay you. Believe in yourselves because you guys are amazing. And I mean that. I mean that with all of my heart. Don't forget to dance today. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you later.